Assalamu alaikum. Uh, today we are going to talking about this uh, heat proof. Okay, uh, we are going to making process uh, this heat proof pitch proof. Okay, so let's start. So first of all, uh, we have to open a new file. Just uh, already crea uh, already created in a new file and. Uh, uh, this is the AutoCAD uh, drawing and I impo uh, import in Revit file then uh, you first in level 1 and to create a roof ok first uh, select a roof from architecture ribbon uh, build panel roof by footprint then uh, I want to create a level 2 roof or level 2 just uh, select level 2 and yes after that we have to draw uh, a line in this AutoCAD line drawing ok so for, uh, just create a line or just pick a line actually this is uh, this roof is uh, uh, place on level 3 just pick this line just hit the tab key or hit the tab key and we can see uh, the all types of all line uh, will select in selection preview see in selection in preview then click this line so if we finish this mode and before that we have to ensure this line is uh, uh, will be heat proof convert to heat proof so just select this line and uh, uh, check this define slope ok so and slope will be in your properties palette on your left side uh, just uh, slope will be 6 by 12 inch so we have to uh, this is there is the another issue in this line uh, it is not uh, extra line in this here we have to delete this and also delete this line and trim this line with this with that line so uh, just click and first uh, finish this edit mode and go to this uh, elevation view as you see there is a mm, roof in this created in level 2 so go to this plan view and uh, we have to create a another roof I just uh, select this roof in uh, and go to this elevation to check this level in there is a gap in level line from this uh, there is a gap uh, roof line roof edge and from this line level, level line uh, it, it should be uh, it should be attached this in this uh, level line uh, roof but uh, if we select this roof but uh, in uh, properties palette construction section uh, there is a two cut plumb um, actually uh, if we face shear depth set the dimension say six inch uh, the uh, roof will be attached in this level line okay so the, this is the uh, this is the advantage uh, of the plumb cut plumb cut uh, we can edit in uh, lower part of this uh, heat proof section area so go to this uh, plan view and uh, now uh, 
to uh, now create uh, this section of this roof and attach to this main roof uh, at, that means uh, actually uh, we can figure out uh, this roof uh, this is the roof uh, extra extra roof and attach this is the extra roof and this uh, type of roof attach this main roof okay so how to do that so so first uh, create a roof architecture then uh, create roof and select line so i just draw a line on this extra roof actually uh, this is the not uh, right way to create this roof we have to uh, uh, draw a uh, just a rectangle just like that and uh, select the this two line and transform to define slope and we have to ensure uh, ensure the slope uh, slope dimension parameter to similar with mm, uh, with that roof similar with that roof okay so this is the uh, this roof is slope is uh, 6 12 inch and also this is the 6 6 12 inch so if we uh, finish this mode and uh, go to the 3d view the roof will show this type so if we uh, set if we merge this roof in this slope section in this slope area in this main roof uh, we have to uh, select a joint and unjoined roof tool from the geometry panel in modify ribbon so select this join unjoin roof and if we uh, select any line from edge of this roof roof just uh, click this line and select the surface of the main roof roof as you see the roof will attach in the in main roof section and if we uh, join if we join join tool from a geometry panel in uh, modify ribbon just first select the second uh, small roof and and after that select this main roof as you see uh, both roof will join and it will uh, show in same surface and now we have to uh, punch uh, we have to hold uh, cut this main roof so oh anyway mm, before that we have to ensure this uh, roof uh, if we create uh, uh, attach this main roof this way uh, so there is a another thing we have to notice if we uh, select this roof and uh, uh, to create this section uh, this, this like this okay not like uh, just in uh, it should be it should be a uh, rafter cut is zero fascia depth zero inch if we set if we set a plumb cut uh, the roof will be unjoined this is the reason why we uh, we uh, transfer this after change the rafter cut to cut plumb after uh, change the to cut plumb this roof uh, the roof will join the main roof in this slope area okay so now go to architecture ribbon uh, select dormer tool and opening opening panel select the main main roof and uh, just the edge should be uh, the inner surface of the main roof in uh, below the small roof okay uh, should be uh, select this line this line select this line and also select the main roof 
age of the main group okay so this is the enclose uh, you see uh, line will be perfectly enclose uh, enclosed in uh, all area so now finish this uh, section mode there is a problem uh, actually there is a circular chain reference among highlighted element okay to resolve it I just uh, resolved this uh, issue and uh, uh, resolve this issue and, and now if we joined again that should be work okay that's how we create uh, this type of group okay well, now we can uh, create any site uh, we can create this group any site now uh, so first part first part of the roof is created and now create the lower part of this roof that means this is the lower part of this roof of this roof and now uh, we have to create so uh, just open uh, open uh, plan view just click this plan view level one and go to this architecture ribbon and save a uh, build panel and create select a roof before that uh, we have to uh, change the roof level in this roof just select this main roof and also this main roof and base level should be Actually, base level not. Actually, base level should be in level three. If we go to this elevation view in south side, just select this group and uh, move command. Create a move command. Create constraint and disjoin. If we move this group in this section, delete instance just as you see the roof will be moved from the from the level 2 uh, before after the move this roof uh, the main roof punch area will be uh, already changed uh, we have to recreate this uh, uh, dormer option select the drummer and select this uh, main group and uh, just click this line click this surface of this uh, small roof in inner side and also select this line okay, finish this line edge and finish this finish uh, this uh, dormer option and just resolve this problem and just uh, join it again now go to uh, level uh, level 2 plan view and create a roof select rectangle actually uh, we can select we can type or we can draw a line Okay, this is the line uh, now select the both side of this line and uh, check uh, check this define slope now uh, if we uh, change the slope to 9 to 2 to 2 inch and 12 inch and finish go to the 3d view the roof will be created in this way in this type of group will be created so 
uh, go to the level 2 and now just draw a row select a row and create a line uh, before uh, draw uh, draw a line this row or uh, extra row this section of row we have to uh, configure the middle line of this row should be moved in another direction actually uh, this is the if we go to the plan view this row is should be in If we uh, create uh, the, if we move this line, move this line, if we move this line from this direction, okay, uh, in uh, AutoCAD plan, uh, the line should be uh, in the, as you see, the line should be, uh, the line is here, and the main, the roof of the rabbit uh, should be moved in this direction. So first uh, select double click on this row if we uh, select this line and uh, change the slope direction uh, slope dimension say 5 and finish this loop the roof edge uh, of the roof uh, the middle line of this roof will be moved in just like the AutoCAD plan and now go to uh, level 2 or okay and uh, now uh, create a roof draw a rectangle just uh, select the both line and define slope I just draw a say 5 just finish it okay if we uh, change this slope if we attach this uh, attach this uh, roof to this main roof of this surface just uh, go to modify ribbon and join roof and select this line and also select this surface Okay, the roof will be create the small roof will be attached smoothly in this surface and now uh, go to architecture select dormer select the main roof and say I uh, just select the surface bottom surface of this roof and also bottom surface of this uh, roof and select this line and now select this finish and actually it should be a uh, dormer cut Opening is fully defined, cut was not performed. Okay, uh, if we change the plum cut or uh, two cut square, just change the fascia depth or one inch. cut plumb or one inch we can apply a one inch there is a problem of this roof if we uh, select this roof to say plumb cut and now uh, try again uh, select the dormer and select this roof this surface this surface and also this surface we can uh, trim and extend apply this line if we finish this the roof will be work the right way okay same way uh, we can draw we can draw uh, this roof uh, another uh, roof 
okay so go to this plan view and select a roof if we draw just rectangle uh, just like that and just uh, change the roof type roof slope define slope okay just uh, say it should be uh, 9 or 10 if we set a uh, 10 just finish go to the 3d view and apply our uh, merge this roof say go to modify or select a uh, joint roof and select the line and select this surface okay the roof will create attach the smoothly in this surface after that go to modify and sorry uh, architecture then select the dormer and also select this roof main roof and select the bottom surface of this uh, small roof this one also we select and also this line if we uh, trim and extend this line to this line and now finish this mode as you see the roof will be cut the main roof will be cut in this right section okay so that's how we uh, create a hip roof in this type of hip roof and in different way okay so that's it for today okay so we will see in next video tutorial thank you bye